I started umpiring, I was actually looking for a bit of cash and um, Gil Bishop was a family friend and was a coach of the junior junior umpires. So I, I just approached him and said, you know, look, I'm interested in earning a bit of extra money. Uh, can I come down and umpire? So I started umpiring in the North Suburban Junior Football League, which is part of West Perth now, I think. So yeah, so the first couple of years I was still playing, so I was umpiring uh, modified rules and uh, playing in the afternoon. And then when I stopped playing, when I was 16, I think, I uh, just started umpiring open open rules, 13s, 14s, and uh, sort of went through there and then got an invite to join, um, I think it might have been a talent squad, it was called back then, about 95. I came down as a field umpire and did two Colts games in 96. Yep. Um, and then got delisted. <laughs> I went and umpired amateurs. Yeah. Uh, Mike Ball was a coach down at amateurs. Uh, so that got my field umpiring back on track and then came down to and, and umpired two more years as a field umpire uh, and did Colts football for 98 and 99. Happened. Yeah, so uh, I got delisted at the end of 99 as a field umpire. Um, and then it was actually Kerry Hendry, uh, so Rob Hendry's wife, um, said, well, look, when you get Dale down and get him to goal umpiring. So, um, yeah, so Rob Hendry and, and Gil Bishop were the uh, goal umpires coaches and they said, yeah, come down and have a run. And um, yeah, so I umpired 2000 was my first season of goal umpiring and I umpired the whole year in Colts. Yeah, so I umpired 2000 in Colts yep. and then 2001, I made my reserve debut finally in round one and then I think it was round five I made my league debut day round five round six yeah so I did five reserves games and then did my league debut uh, I remember it was West Perth and Perth at Laugh Lane uh, I'm pretty sure I was on probably with Glenn D. Francesc yeah I, I couldn't tell you who, I, who my first um, score was I re remember my second game was um, West Perth and Subi at Joondalup and it rained the whole game and it ended up being a draw, and yeah. it was just pouring with rain, yeah. Because I knew there were two spaces available on the AFL panel in 2006, after Wayne Hendry and Cos Martino retired, um, and there were the only other, basically the criteria to um, get onto the AFL panel was to have umpired a Waffle Grand Final. So I thought it might have been a sniff because I'd done the 2002 grand final and there was no one else. So yeah, I it was sort of optimistic, but uh, still wasn't quite sure. Yeah, there's the one game that really sticks out, I don't know what year it was, um, but it was Fremantle and Adelaide. And I'd score, you know, I remember scores being level and um, Luke McFarlane kicked, snapping one out of a pack and it hitting the post. And I remember the crowd going up and it's like, but it was a point. And then yeah, they, they ended up winning by a point. Um, that one certainly stands out. The other one, it was uh, West Coast and North Melbourne. Yeah. Um, when, yeah, Nat Nui, I, yeah, Nat Nui took the big screamer and then, yeah, after the siren, he kicked, kicked kick the goal, you know, and that one certainly stands out. Um, um, I, th I think it was Shane Edwards may have had a kick from the pocket, you know, on the boundary line, you know, probably 30 or 40 metres out. And then um, Tyrone Vickery tried to get his foot to the ball, and I think he may have done, and I sort of, and I was straddling up against the post and had nowhere to go with it and the ball hit me just right in the middle of the thighs and then dropped on the line. And um, yeah, I was standing there because the ball didn't move, it was dropped on the line and um, Stephen Hill basically carried the ball across the line and that's when I signaled touch ball. Um, so yeah, the rest of that season and the couple of seasons afterwards, it was you know, trying to go for the alternate straddle. Uh, and I think the, the law's subsequently been changed now that you know, basically follow the trajectory of the ball and yeah, so that ball would have actually hit the post. Congratulations on your induction into the One Flow Hall of Fame. It's an incredible achievement, something you can be really proud of. You've umpired 100, 
23 AFL games, 288 senior games, which included two Waffle Grand Finals, one state game, and you were a Carter medalist as well for umpire of the year. But I've managed to source some other statistics from your AFL games, which may or may not be interesting. So you umpired Fremantle 70 times with a 67% win percentage and West Coast 62 times with a 65% win percentage. You umpired Melbourne Demons seven times and they lost all seven with an average losing margin of over 60 points. You umpired your Richmond, trusty Richmond Tigers um, 10 times, but they only managed three wins. So you probably helped consolidate their, their ninth position on the ladder for a couple of years there, mate. And even though you're on the list for 10 or 11 years, um, you went nearly seven years without umpiring St Kilda. You had 15 games decided by less than a goal and four games decided by more than 100 points. Your average margin was 39.8. You had a margin of 22 points five times and your average crowd was 35,000. Dale, we were lucky enough to share 39 games together, which I'm really grateful for. Um, you were always a fantastic team member, always such a hard worker. Uh, you always came to training and matches with a real purpose and a lot of passion. You had a real thirst for continuous improvement and accountability to yourself and your teammates, which really drove the high performance culture we had at the time. Congratulations again, Dale. You thoroughly deserve the recognition. Uh, I'm sorry I'll miss the beginning of the night, bloody AFL getting in the way again, but hopefully I'll catch the end and we can share a red wine together. Great work, legend. Hey Dale, congratulations on getting inducted into the Waffle Hall of Fame, mate. What an amazing achievement and one that you thoroughly deserve. Um, I guess one of the better memories I have of your umpiring career was definitely when you got struck by the ball in the goal line, which I'm pretty sure cost, cost Frio a game. Um, and because of that, it gave us the alternate position. I know it got me out of a few sticky situations, so thanks, mate. Really appreciate it. Um, but seriously, well done on getting inducted. Um, thoroughly deserved. Couldn't have happened to a better bloke. Take it easy, mate. Enjoy your night.